Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on the Super Car Guy channel. In today's video, we're gonna be troubleshooting my BMW Z4 with the N20 engine. The engine has been having issues restarting after driving the car for 15 to 45 minutes. If you drive it for more, the issue doesn't exist. If you drive it, drive it for less, there's no issue as well. So today we're gonna to look for EVAP and vacuum leaks, and if you find any, hopefully we can fix them. Normally, an automotive smoke machine would cost you a few hundred dollars, and that's why I decided to go for one of these kind of custom-made, homemade DIY jobs. You can actually make these at home. I think there's a really good video on YouTube that you can check out. I got this on eBay uh, for, I think, $80. They also sell them on Amazon and uh, other places. What it is is just a paint can uh, that's empty and clean with a little wire and wick inside into which you pour some mineral oil also has a connection for your air hose which is right here so i have my compressor over there i don't know if you can see it on camera but it's right there uh, so you're going to plug this in uh, and it controls the pressure so it's going to be coming out at one psi uh, which is the maximum pressure or at least a safe pressure that the engine uh, vacuum lines and air lines can handle so that's going to go in here uh, this smoke is going to be created by connecting these to a battery. So that wire is gonna be connected to the 12 volt battery, generate the smoke. Uh, and with the pressure, it's gonna be pushed out of this hose, which we have plugged already into a vacuum line. We're gonna start by removing the air filter box. Since we're going to be introducing about one psi of pressure into the system, we want to make sure it's not escaping anywhere but the problem area. So I put a little glove, uh, like a rubber glove, um, over the intake and uh, secured it with this clamp. And this way, uh, it's not going to be escaping from here at the very least. Now this next step is going to be a little bit different depending on your car and your engine. Uh, but what we're going to have to do is introduce the smoke into the system. The way I've decided to do it is disconnect this vacuum line from the wastegate actuator which is right there so I unplug that and plugged in my hose where the smoke is coming from into this little hose that goes directly into the system if you can find an adapter that could fit this air intake and take it from this big hole into that little one that would even be better but uh, for me I couldn't find anything I didn't really want to create anything from scratch so this was the easier solution for me now let's see it in action. So I'm going to put my tank can on the floor. I don't want it to be standing here and fall and spill anything on the car. I'm going to put that on the floor. I have now plugged in the air hose. So there's air moving into the system. Now we want it to be smoke. So we're going to connect the negative um, to the negative terminal. The positive is already connected over there. I usually like to check and make sure the smoke is coming out, so I'm going to disconnect it for now. Okay, as you can see, there's smoke. I'm going to plug that back in, make sure it's tight, and now we wait. As you can see, we have pressure in the system now as the glove has inflated. It's also not leaking, so that works well for us. Now it's time to look for leaks. After inspecting the engine a little bit, I noticed this little leak. Hopefully you can see it. Not exactly sure where it's coming from yet, but I'm gonna take the cover off and take a closer look. Before I turn off the smoke machine though, since everything is filled with smoke already, I'm gonna take my lamp and just go as close as possible to a lot of these areas 
uh, go underneath and see if there's any leaks. Because if there's a leak underneath, I'm not gonna probably see it from all the way up here unless it's really, really bad. And most likely it's gonna be not that bad, just kind of like what we have here. So I'm gonna climb underneath, see what I can find, inspect all the other lines and report back. Now, I'm not sure if you can even see this on camera, but there's a very, very small leak on that connector as well. Now that it's been a few minutes and the system's fully filled up with smoke, um, we can see where the big issue is on this car. So if I go deep inside, this is our turbo right here. I'm not sure if it's a hose or something, but there's definitely a lot of smoke, not a lot, but a decent amount of smoke coming out of there. And this would definitely cause those kind of issues that I was having. As I was troubleshooting and looking into what the issue could be and where the smoke could be coming out of, I moved this big intake that goes to the turbo. Let me do that right now. Well, I wasn't, I was just tugging on it a little bit and look at that. I don't think it's even connected with a clip or anything or secured with a clip. I can push it back in and it's fine. And that's why these errors that I've been getting are so random, I think. Uh, you know, when it wiggles out of the way, a lot of air gets in and then all of a sudden the air and fuel mixture is way too lean because it's no longer controlled. Well guys, there's the actual issue. I climbed under the car uh, with good light and as you can see, it actually broke off. So the uh, air duct is broken off the mounting point and that's why it kind of moves around on its own. So it looks like I'm gonna have to replace the entire piece, uh, which kind of sucks because it's very difficult to get to and it goes all the way around, all the way around to the top. So that's what we're looking at right there. Well guys, this is it for this video. I'm really excited that I found this issue and I'm going to get it fixed and not have these, you know, random issues with my car anymore. It also only cost me 70 or $80 and maybe half an hour of my time. If I would have taken this car to a dealer or to a shop, it would have been a minimum of 150 to $200 just to diagnose the issue. And they'll probably charge me a few more hundred dollars just to get the hose reconnected. Uh, I'm gonna have to look into it, see how difficult it is. I'm not sure at this moment, but thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Uh, like and subscribe as it really helps the channel out and I'll see you guys in the next one.